Hello, welcome Wild FM listeners. Let's get some people in the building. Say hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, I freaking love that song. That was the opening to Initial D, first stage. And when I first listened to that, I'm like, I don't think I've ever heard this song. I'm like, oh, wait, no, yes, I have, millions of times. And I always try to, like, rap, but I don't know any of the Japanese. So I'm like, ba 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 Initial D is that show. It is life. Yeah. And you know what's crazy? I still have only seen six episodes of it. Oh, my God. <laughs> we have to punish this man, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I can't say much because I've only seen like six episodes. That's okay. But I only started like a week ago, so. We'll a week ago! <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned bars, so I just had to kind of throw that in there. I have no idea what's going on. Well... What's going on is we have Raymundo san, <laughs> aka Mr. Initial Dream 86. <laughs> uh, for, okay, so like, for those that don't know, right? Me and Ray go way back. Way back. All right. Mm-hmm. And through this journey, this drive, uh huh, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> All right. This we, inertial drift. We, <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, you got me there with that one, all right? Uh, he then took a turn, and he's like, you know what? I'm going to do this. And bam, this guy is running his own Instagram that has that he's gaining followers by the second. I'm sure if you check in five minutes, he'll have a couple more followers. With all his car porn, <laughs> I can imagine. Uh, <laughs> showing off his, 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 his initial D car that's straight. It literally, like, he just took it from the anime. So I, I was like... It was it was like the stars aligned because I was at Yushikan last week and and Ashley was at Yushikan last week and then Ray I saw his car I was like oh dude Ray's here too <laughs> so Ray comes in and I'm just like you know what I'm on a radio show every Thursday we talk about anime and fun stuff you have an anime car let's talk about it on the radio <laughs> so yep stars aligned and bam here we are initial D I came drifting into everybody's heart. You did. <laughs> that was pretty lame. I'm sorry. Actually, That's okay. You know what's crazy? Ever since, so before we started, we we're doing mic checks. Mm-hmm. This man was doing like his like voice actor impersonations, oh, God. and like every time you say something in like a deep voice, I will literally picture Mewtwo. You think you have my power? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I'm just, no, wait, I'm just picturing Mewtwo in the car. <laughs> You're making the wrong turn, Mewtwo. Oh my Yo, God. imagine GPS. <laughs> yeah, you, that need, needs to, to be... you need to voice act GPS. Yeah. Turn left at the next intersection. <laughs> Dude, you, yo, you could be like a Transformer, too. I just realized Autobots that. transform oh. and roll Holy out. Holy crap! <laughs> yo, this is like... Yo, you don't need to run any ads today. Nope. Because this guy right here... Nothing but gold. <laughs> Nothing w- but gold. Would you like your own advertisement? We can do that, too. Yes? There you go. Uh, you know what? Say, so- say something about Uchi Games. I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to Uchi Games this evening. <laughs> Dude, that's pretty good. So yeah, but here, we're here to talk about Initial D. Hell yeah. Yeah, sounds good. It's like I had never watched any Initial D before, and then when you're coming on, I'm like, all right, let me make sure I kind of know what I'm talking about. And like, I was like, I'll watch one episode. Six episodes later, I'm like, this shit's just like DBZ. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, not, as excited as you get, and then oh, it like oh, takes oh. them like five episodes to go down one hill. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I, 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 I don't even know how to reply to that. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, hey. You every- still get high. I'm like, come on, Zachary! You can do it! <laughs> That's how I feel when I drive. <laughs> That's fun. Sounds like a good show then, right? It was good. I need to yeah. watch more. Yes, yes, you all should watch more. So how many how many seasons are there, since you're the veteran here? Technically six and a bunch of movies. Um, uh. You have stage one, stage two, stage three was a movie. Stage four, stage five. They said they were done with stage five, and they weren't going to finish any more of it, and then people complained, and uh, then they made a series called Long Gone Midnight, and people were like, this is an initial D. So then finally they finished it with technically six, six stage, which is final stage, and it's uh, only four episodes long. 
Damn. So it's it's good. It's really good. Oh, okay. Because I, I thought <laughs> the way you said it, it sounded like you were heartbroken. You're like I am. Uh, <laughs> I, I I am. But uh, I just found out that apparently they released a new manga that is up to episode three called MF Ghost, which follows Takumi after. Oh! But I can't say any more because it's going to yeah, ruin no it. It's going to ruin it. Oh, that's hype. See? So watch ah! Final Stage. It's worth it. Damn. Mm, see, I like when things get sequels, especially when they're classics. Yes. I feel like all classics get, should get the respect and the attention they deserve. Which, you know what leads me to my next question? Do they have any live action movies? I was yes, just about to yes, say, there, there is one live action and movie. Not the Fast and Furious franchise? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> no one likes a tuna here. <laughs> um, the live action movie was actually made Cantonese. So hmm. I think I believe it was China that did it. Japan uh, didn't actually do it, but it's very, very good. Okay, wow. yeah, because we were we were talking was like two weeks ago. We were talking about live actions yeah. and like it was it was supposed to be the 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 faults of live action, but ended up being like a well, you know what? There is actually some really good live actions, but it's just that there are certain ones that were so bad <laughs> that, <laughs> that they yeah like, <laughs> that they kind of like overshadow. All of the good ones, and people just forget, and mean like they just they just put the stamp of oh, if it's live action, it's trash. But realistically, no, it was actually really good. Yeah. Um, there was very very little CGI in the movie, so it was they actually took an '86 a GTR, mm. yeah, a couple RX sevens, and really slide in the cars. Yeah, it's just you could tell the guardrails are fake. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like they're definitely made out of things like paper mache. Oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, no, that's 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 like initial D is one of the like one of so I have like a priority list mm -hmm. of anime that I have to like go back and like actually finish and initial D is like up there because I when I started it I was in a it was in my Discord and we were all have you ever heard of Rabbit before? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you know what Rabbit is? I, I'm ex I'm gonna explain it. Don't worry about it. So Rabbit is literally a website that you can use to watch whatever you want with people online okay. in real time. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's literally. <laughs> R A B B dot I T. So rabbit, right? Nice. And you can you have your own room and you can set it to private, you can do public if you want, like random people to just watch stuff with you. I've yeah. never used it that way. And I set up a room and I logged into like my Hulu and bam, I was just like, All right guys, what are we watching tonight? And then it was like six of us and we we're just like and then someone suggested initial D and I was like, You know what? Let's watch initial D. And we and I, oh man, as, as soon as as soon as the, 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 the song started, as soon as like oh, this man was yeah. like driving and winding and all this stuff, like drifting for no reason, like just doing it, I was like, every time I get in the car, I'm gonna be in trouble. Like I'm just <laughs> literally just gonna be like driven to just do some wild stuff. Or at least speed a little bit, you know. Oh yeah. But we're not condoning it. But anyway. <laughs> yeah. It was it was it was it's one of those shows that if you haven't if you haven't checked it out, it's one of the one of the timeless classics, I like to call it, that should all it should be everyone should watch it. And it has some of the most banging music you will hear. Yes. I was just about to add to that. Uh, when me and a bunch of friends of mine were kids, <laughs> that's all we used to listen to is like Eurobeat and the initial D theme songs that's and stuff awesome. like that. Oh yeah. <clears throat> I can't tell you how many tickets we ensued. <laughs> <laughs> Racing to that. I uh, wonder those how many songs. cops that were old school anime fans that still listen to like initial D if they're on like a high speed chase. I'm like, all right, it's time to run with the What's 90s. What's pretty <laughs> cool about that actually is I was in Edgewater, New Jersey, going to that Japanese. Japanese Mart that's down there, mm -hmm. and uh, the firefighters were there uh, in, in in Edgewater taking donations, and uh, one of the firefighters stopped me, and he comes running up to the car, and he goes, hey man, is this an AE86? And I'm like, yeah. Ah! I said, you know what this is? He goes, oh yeah, man, initial D. And I'm like, yeah. He goes, I also used to autocross, and he started talking to me. The guy, he was an older gentleman, but it was pretty wild. I didn't think that like... You know, people other than like us would watch mm -hmm. anime like that. But no, he was yeah. real big into it and loved seeing the car. Hell yeah. See, it's people like Ray that say, you know what? I'm going to invest in this car and I'm just going to bring everyone together. Initial Diz. It's bringing about world peace. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the love of the 86 Trueno. One anime fan at a time. Yeah, no, ser <laughs> yo, seriously. Seriously. It's crazy because like, it's stuff like that that really actually does like bring people out. Because it's yeah. like someone in, like, he saw a firefighter. The next next second, he could he could see like a former like government person and being like, oh my God, like I used to watch that with my kids or I used to watch it when I was a kid. Like, I don't know, you know? Hell yeah. That's that's really cool. Like that stuff, people gotta stop sleeping on anime. Well, you know what? They starting to wake up. 
Oh, I'm, yeah. Yeah. There, it's, it's starting to be a lot... Uh, it's like a bigger part of today's society, I think. Yeah, I think it's because it's a lot easier to get a hold of some anime, like stuff like Crunchyroll and Hulu and Netflix. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you named some good ones, Hulu and Netflix for sure, because they're they're on anime. They got anime and everything now. Well, if you go on, <clears throat> sorry, if you if you go on your phone and you use um, JP Anime, it's mm-hmm. an APK download. You can literally watch anything you want. <laughs> um, like literally everything. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's kind of like crunch, crunchy roll only oh, okay. on your phone. So if you have a Chromecast, you can watch thousands of titles. Bet. Now I sound like an ad. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually, yeah. You, if, if you left it alone, it, it would have been fine. Watch thousands of anime titles on JP Anime. Download now. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Watch them hit you up because of that. <laughs> I mean, that would be cool. Yeah. It's like, have $85 million. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have a whole fleet of Torinos. So like so you said the last season was four episodes, right? Yes. So in every other season are they like this I'm not I know there's not four, but like is there a set amount of episodes in each or is it like very it depends? It's random and I know all the purists are probably going to be mad at me because I don't know the exact number. Oh, you know? okay, okay. But okay. it's like anywhere between like 26, 22, 16, 18. It, it all varies. Oh, that's like a quick Google search anyway. Like easy to figure out. It's it's just they're long. They're like 30, 30 minutes long, thirty five minutes somewhere mm-hmm. on there. Yeah, yeah. I gotta, I got, I got, I gotta give. I, I still haven't watched that that one show you told me about. Well, Ronan she, Warriors. Ronan. Did you, what? You've never seen Ronan Don't Warriors? Know what? It is. what? Oh, of course I do. <laughs> I, just, I had a moment last night because my son, my stepson Ty, is he's uh, getting into Dead Like Me. I don't know if you're familiar with that show. Right? No. It's about a bunch of Reapers that came out in like two thousand six, something like that. Never heard of it. It's a really good show. But there is this one guy on there. It's like people die every episode, and these reapers that just reap people and go off and do their office jobs later in the day. <laughs> and this good. one guy, and he's like uh, trying to be this um, like edgy jackass type of, type of prank guy. And I'm like, I know this voice. Who the fuck is this? It was Mark Hill. It was the voice of Ryu. What? From fucking Run of Words. I'm like, who is that? And I'm like, flare up now. I'm like, oh my God, it's Ryu. <laughs> I knew it! It was driving me nuts. I was sitting there for like 20 minutes on my phone. I knew all those voices. What have you done? Yeah, dude. She told me about it like when we were last on here. And I was like, they actually... Because I was like dreaming. I was like, I'm sorry to like segue or like, you know, tangent a little bit. But like I... You guys know how much I love Power Rangers and Super Sentai and all the tokusatsu. And I was like, I've, I wish they made a... A Japanese anime Power Rangers or something. It's old. I know it's old. I don't care. So we got to count you as not seeing Initial D and Ronin Warriors? Well, wait a minute. No. Mm-hmm. I've seen six episodes of Initial D. Shun the non believer. Shun. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen Initial D, but no, I haven't, I haven't seen a single thing of Ronin Warriors outside of uh, when she brought it That's up. That's what we need, we need to pull him into a rabbit chat room and then make him watch Ronin Warriors. You, you, and, you and so many oh, other yeah. people, literally, like, I'll tell you this, like, <laughs> Like, I have a friend. His name is Bobby. Great friend. Mm-hmm. He literally is just like, ooch, one day I'm just going to have to kidnap you for a week <laughs> and just, <laughs> and just be like, here's all the manga you've missed out on. Here's all the anime, the video games. And it's true because I'm very deprived for the person you would think would know, like, and have seen so much and played so much, and I really have not. I've, I've missed out on a lot, Initial D being one of them. Well, up until I seen the first six episodes... <laughs> Which I still hold. I still hold. I have another friend, Sean. I don't know if he's watching, but he's another good, really good, amazing friend of mine. He believes to this day. He's like, you're not watching it ever again. Because he knows how busy I am. He's like, nope. Because he was like, unless you marathon this right now, you're never watching this again. I was like, I will watch it again, Sean. I promise. One day. And it might happen sooner than later. And I have to say, like, the day we <laughs> talked about it, I went home and I watched an episode on YouTube. I'm like, it still kind of holds up. Like, 88% holds up. Like, the voice acting wasn't that abysmal that I wanted to claw out my ears. Are you talking about the English sub? Or dub, I'm sorry? Yeah. Okay. I don't even know where the sub would be. I'm not sure if that, like, think... exists in ripped form on YouTube somewhere. Oh, or well. Where that... I can get Pro- it. Probably not on YouTube. Probably, like, Hulu. Because that's where we watched it. Yeah, that's the official stuff. Does the sub exist on Hulu? On yeah. Ronin Warriors? Yeah, on, oh, yeah I'm talking about yeah. Initial D. Oh, ini- no, oh, Initial well, D. Yeah. On, I'm still on Ronin Warriors. Uh, <laughs> uh, for, for for Ronin Warriors, you're just gonna have to find the original outlet for it, like JP Anime, uh, 
Crunchyroll, what, whichever one has that, you're going to have to find it and then see if they have the option for it. I've yeah. seen 50-50. It was in sub mm-hmm. and dub. Mm-hmm. So there you go. I need to, I, I need to get to Rona Warriors for sure because the inner tokusatsu in me, obviously I have to, but uh, yeah. I, I, man, this is Initial D show. I'm trying to put it above <laughs> everything else right now. Well, at the top of the list, it's like anime show. And like, we would eventually like to talk mostly about Initial D. But as long as anime happens, it's cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty well versed in anime, so I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us, tell us about like the upbringing of the vehicle that you own now and are very proud of, and you go out and show it to, at cons and whatnot. Car shows, cons, yep. yeah. Yep. Uh, you want me to tell you when it started? Yes. Like what came first, the, the, the anime or the cars? Know. The anime did. Uh, a friend of mine, Chris, if you're watching. Um, ended up showing me Initial D back in like 98 or 99. He's like, yo, you really need to watch this. So I'm like, okay. And at the time, I knew like nothing about drifting, racing. You know, I was a kid. So I ended up getting into that. And I'm like, oh, man, one day I'm going to own this car. And progressively, as the years went on, I got into cars and anime and uh, kept going. And finally, 19 years later, I just so happened to find this car on Craigslist for like dirt cheap and i was like nah no it's not happening i'm I'm buying this i'm getting this car and it's going to become the initial d car so you know two years worth of painstaking trouble with it and building it and everything else just like any other car build and it's finally finished for the most part um but what's cool about it is that it has the ability to bridge that whole like anime group and car guy group. Yes. Because if for, for anybody who knows about the car itself, the A86 actually started uh, the whole drift scene in Japan, and uh, it's like one of the most iconic drift cars in the world. Um, and then you have Initial D, which overglorified it, and we'll say <laughs> some of it, you know, isn't really true, but it's still really good, yeah. you know. And um, <clears throat> you, you know. You take the two and you put them together and then you end up going to like a show or something and you get the, the people are like, oh my God, man, are you driving an A86? And I'm like, yeah, you want to check it out? And then you get like the other guy that walks up and he's like, hey, uh, is that the car from Initial D? And I'm just like, yeah, man, you know? <laughs> yeah. It's like, I'm wondering how many people, like significant others were dragged to the convention by loved ones, but they haven't been into cars and they see that and they're like, wait a minute, there's, you have this here? This is a thing? Oh, God, now I'm into anime, too. <laughs> well, actually, what's funny about that is I had a, a, a family come up to me while we were at Yushikan, and um, he walks up to me, and we're talking about the car because he knew that it was in, in A86, yeah. and, but his son knew it from Initial D. So oh. the father knew it from drifting, and the son knew it from Initial D. <laughs> And he's wow. like, you know, we weren't really going to come out here today because, it, you know, we, we realized it wasn't a very large convention. Mm-hmm. But when my son saw that your car was going to be here, he, like, freaked out and had to come. And I'm like, well, you know, they're friends of mine going and check out the convention as well. I said, but, uh, you know, that we started talking for probably like a good 20, 30 minutes. And the father was talking to me about the car itself, restoring it, drifting. And then the son was like. I don't really want to get close to it. And I'm like, hey, man, <laughs> you want to sit in it? It's like, we're not worthy. We're going to start worshiping the car. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I let him sit in the car and take pictures of it because the father was, like, so stoked about it. He was like, oh, man, he was so excited. I was like, well, go ahead. Let him sit in it and take pictures. He's just seen a look on his face, though. But it was Aww. pretty cool seeing that, you know, the anime junkie versus the car world guy, you know. Yeah. It was pretty cool. And Ray was the glue that brought <laughs> this family together. He was. Healing generational divides. <laughs> Seriously, like, like you know what's crazy? Like, who knows? Like, like not to say that they weren't like a healthy family, but, but let's pretend. Let's pretend. Anime <laughs> let's let, let's make, let's make this scenario. Just had anime a nasty is hell. argument. It's like, Dad, I hate you. You suck. I'm like, you're annoying brat, and I don't like you. <laughs> hey, what's that car? <gasps> Bam. But, but mom, it's an initial D car. Sparkles. Yup, rainbows. Like. Just, just pure beauty at its finest, and then, <laughs> then the family comes together. Ray's basically like that dude, just like, oh, like, hey, and then like all these little children just come out running and hugging them. All and of a sudden, there's the a unicorn that shows up. <laughs> yeah, and then all is well, and then bam, that's just how. And they... has a Toyota cutie mark. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> we need to get you sponsored by Toyota. I uh, the funny. The, the, do you guys mind if I talk about the story about Toyota? Get it? Yes. All right. So I had called Kosh, and Kosh 
couldn't fit me in for an alignment right after I got it out of paint. So I called Halterman's. And uh, the woman be behind the counter, you know, the receptionist who took the call, mm -hmm. she was an older, older lady. And uh, she's like very dismal about it. She's like, thank you for calling Toyota. How may I help you? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, how you doing? I need an alignment done on my car. Said it's coming in on a tow truck. Just got it out of paint. She goes, okay, um, what kind of vehicle are you bringing into us? I'm like, uh, it's a 1986 Toyota Corolla GTS hatchback. And it was quiet. <laughs> <laughs> so she's like, wait what i'm like uh, yeah 1986 toyota corolla gts hatchback she goes in ae86 i'm like yes <laughs> she goes hold on one second i could hear her in the background oh my gosh you guys are not gonna <laughs> believe what's coming into the dealership right <laughs> yo that's awesome when she was quiet to hear <gasps> well that, that's what it was so i showed up and like the like the whole dealership shut down for like a couple of minutes because everybody was outside looking like, at the all car the mechanics <laughs> left their station <laughs> The car boys that parked the cars, everything, they left what they were doing, came in, the salesmen, <laughs> like, you know what? Stand over there next to the truck. I don't care. I'll be right back. So it, it, it was pretty wild because they did, uh, I think it was Halloween last year. Yeah, they were doing a trick-or-treat um, thing for the kids in the dealership. Mm -hmm. And I just happened to be there. She's like, come on back, and we'll take pictures of the car and put them on the site and all this other stuff. I'm like, yeah, all right. So they had their photographer come out and take pictures of it with oh the God, initial D so logos on it. And God, like, <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Uchi, I'm telling you, we need to find you some cosplay people. Like uh, probably some, like a dude and a chick. Uh -huh. We're going to get a speaker for your car so when you go to anime conventions. <laughs> people are going to start paying you to get pictures with the car. I mean, that's like, that's pretty much what you're like kind of building up towards. Right? I, I did try that. Um, I, I ended up like featuring it at PsychoCon and I had a raffle going on over there. It was like five, six bucks, something like that. You get a raffle ticket and I was giving away a ride in the car, you know, so you figure, you know, anime people ride yeah. in the most iconic like anime car, you yeah. know, and no, it didn't go over very well. Oh, uh, no. So that's why at YushiCon, I just said, yeah, sure, you guys want pictures of it, you want me to open it up, you want to check it out, you know, go for it. I, it'd be nice to do that, but... I feel like if it was more officiated, like, if it was a part of the attraction of the convention, like, 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 like a panel, you know, like... Yeah, it would like, be... you need a panel just about the car. Yeah, so that, I mean, treat it like a panel, where it's more like, this is one of the reasons why I'm going to go, like, I am paying to see this, like... I go to Anime Next with my family like every year and I'll always find something that I'll be like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. You want to definitely get like to whatever con you go to, you want them to to be like, okay, hey, like this, we want this dude's car as one of our attractions. So that way you can have a line, you know, if you have a line, then that means right. that you can charge people like, cause put it this way, like. Uh, it's either they're gonna pay you whatever, mm -hmm. or you know, and if they do, then you might not even have to like charge anyone anything. Or if you have something like a little extra, like if you want to like give like a I don't know like a picture with it or something. That's what I was gonna do. Is I was trying to either get some of those pixel art cars made up or yeah. something like that, or maybe even decals mm -hmm. um, to get made up that just say Chirano or the initial D logo. That like for five bucks, maybe I'll give away another ride. Oh, will you, you talk know? to uh, well, what's his name from Sprites of Passage? Chris. Oh, Chris. Yeah, talk to Chris. I, 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 I have been talking to Chris about it. He was talking about buttons, but I kind of want something a little more solid rather than mm -hmm. a button, you know. Like, so I figured if somebody could hang up like a pixel art, you know, or even a keychain. Oh, like the Beats Sprite? Yeah. Oh, see, like that'd be cool. Like if you just had like, if you stockpiled them and then like it can justify the whole like you pay whatever your price is and you get your picture, you get this and you get the Sprite. Right. Then, yeah, then, you know. That's yeah. kind of what I was thinking. I mean, I also figured, like, even even with a decal as well, you know, think mm -hmm. about that. If you loved Initial D and you showed up to an anime convention and you ended up seeing my car there and you found out, yo, know, for, like, seven, ten bucks, whatever it is, you got a keychain and a decal and a yeah. picture with the car. Yeah, exactly. You know, and just so happens I'm giving away a free ride in it. Yeah. You know, of course you're going to end up paying for that. You the, get a bunch of stuff. The ride, that should just still be raffled. Like, even though it didn't work out, at first, like, if you have all the other stuff, too, then it should be, like, you get a ticket for the raffle to get a free ride. That's part of your package. Hell, yeah. And then, and bam. Then maybe you can charge a little bit more than just the five. Like, yeah, like, if you, you do ten. ten. If you yeah. did ten, you know? Because, like, 
when I met Johnny Young Bosch, I was happy paying 30 bucks for like two pictures. And he stood up and took a picture with me. And I brought my morpher. I brought a morpher for him to pose with me. <laughs> and, and yeah, like it was fun. I, I contained myself very well actually but yeah like you do something like that see the only thing that that's a problem about it is getting the car into the venue oh Uh, because it's a car you know it's kind of hard to bring it in the building i would Mm -hmm. love to um i can't remember what convention i went to but they had the back to the future car in the building in the back and they were charging people to take pictures inside of it yeah yeah. Yeah. you know and that's kind of ultimately where i want to be right the problem is like the venues that i've done so far it you know you can't squeeze them through the doors so it has to be an outdoor thing where people think the car is just kind of parked there. I mean, Yushikon was a little different because it was in the beginning of the building yeah. off the road. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. people knew it was part of the convention. Plus, it was advertised on their main flyer. Now, PsychoCon did the same thing. They advertised it through their website. But again, that was outdoor. You right. know, So ultimately, I'd like to get it inside because if I can get it indoors, then it can be there for one, three days. And by all means, I'll open a car up, allow people to check it out. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, if you were obsessed with an anime from 1998 or 99 all the way till now, and you had an opportunity to actually touch the physical car from the show. Oh, my God. You'd cry. You you know, yeah. You'd weep quiet tears of joy. Because it's like like the closest thing to, like, ever being real. Like... I know. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, we could watch Dragon Ball. I can't ever touch, like... Like Goku, be like, oh my god! Like your hair is so weird, <laughs> right? Like I can't ever really do that because like, I didn't expect your hair to be so soft. Yeah, like there, like I, you can't actually do that. But like for a vehicle, something like that, you know, like that'd be that'd be dope, you know, to 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 do that. But I think as far as your dilemma with trying to get the vehicle inside the convention, I may maybe it's just you'd wanna, I guess, aim for bigger conventions. Then I did own, hit yeah. up Otakon. Um, th- this uh, this past Otakon mm-hmm. because they had a car show last year. I shouldn't say a car show. It was just a bunch of anime inspired cars. They had oh, Neon okay. Genesis Evangelion a- Accord there, where mm-hmm. it was all done. Half the car was Rei Ayanami, and the other half was um, cool. uh, Asuka. So it was pretty neat. And I was supposed to bring the car down there, but they told me, "Oh, we're not doing cars this year." And I walked in, and right behind the DBZ, ironically enough, as was the car show kind of thing. And I was like, "Oh my gosh, I can't believe this!" Like. I'm, these guys have anime inspired cars. It's like really I have an anime it's car. Like really yeah. It's yeah. like they're anime inspired. Last time I checked, Neon Genesis Evangelion didn't have a car. Initial <laughs> no. D is about cars. <laughs> you have the freaking car. Wake up, Otakon. Yeah. That, that, that's Let's actually, go. It's actually surprising to hear. I mean, who knows? Like, if it didn't work out, I think like just being persistent is just like because as your as your uh Instagram grows, mm-hmm. Then you will obviously get more opportunity. Yeah, right. they're like, no, you know. help me. Because if it like, just, like, just because it didn't work out now, doesn't mean it's not gonna work out later. No, right, right, right. Mm-hmm. It's just it, it's upsetting though because yeah. I did sink a lot of money and a lot of time on, into this car, and I knew it wasn't gonna be like an immediate thing. Yeah. But it still would be nice to like get something rolling with it like now. Like we're doing yeah. a bunch of shows with the car like this weekend, uh, season closers and stuff yeah. like that. But that's the car show venue. Yeah. So the car show venue. Everyone knows what an AE86 is, and mm-hmm. they're like, yeah, man, we'd love it if you brought your car down. But when I call, like, anime conventions and stuff, I'm like, hey, uh, I have the AE86 from Initial D. Uh, would you guys want it in the show? And they're like, eh, no. You know, really. probably, it's probably because they're whack, and they have never even seen it. They didn't watch the first six episodes of Initial D. <laughs> like, we <laughs> did. <laughs> I was like, look. It's like, all right, you snot those little brat. Did you even watch Initial D first yeah. stage? They probably, like, they no, probably it's about it. cars. I'm like, shut up and watch it. Yeah. Like, you probably just spoke to someone that, like, didn't even, like, watch it or anything like that, to be honest. Which kind of sucks because it's just like you just spoke to the wrong person. But I bet you if you, like, if it was the right person that, like, obviously had, yeah. like, a, a really good background in anime that watched it and, like, is part of their, like, you know, whatever, then. With your luck, you got the Hamtaro fan. And I'm just throwing shade. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Said Hamtaro. <laughs> I want to see Hamtaro in his own little A86. <laughs> that would be ridiculous. <laughs> it's the tiniest drifter. That, I, I, I think this has to happen. 
Yeah, now now someone's gonna just. I'll build the. It. I have a couple little A eighty six models. If you can get a little Hamtaro plushie, and I'll Bro, bring it around with me. That's amazing. <laughs> you know that might be. You might be sitting on the next best crossover that no one ever asked for. <laughs> That's I think gonna, yeah. Just take a pic, like just do a picture of it, and put it on your Instagram, and just see what happens. <laughs> an unlockable car in uh, Forza. Oh my! Initial D Ham Taro. <laughs> yeah. Initial Ham. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Honestly, you know what you should do. A serious looking you should, hamster. You should have that. The you have a model of it, right? You said. I have a model, an RC car, a couple high match boxes. Okay. Yeah. So you need to put Mario in it. Mario. You get Nintendo's attention? <laughs> that car's going to be in Mario Kart. Yahoo! I, oh! You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that's, that's That huge. would be pretty sick. Yes. You know, you end up passing Mario in an 86, and Dude, he they, bumps you and they, throws you into the guardrail. Mario Kart now <laughs> has, like, legit, like, like not all, because obviously they have, like, a bunch of ridiculous cars in their game, but there's, like, actual cars now. Like, there's, like, at least one or two that's, like, it's like, okay, that's definitely not a Mario Kart car, but that's a real car. I know that car. I've seen it before. And next thing you know, you keep going through the search, and bam, imagine you just saw the freaking 86. People would pop off! For some strange reason, in my head, I'm listening to the sound uh, from uh, Smash Brothers. Oh. The, right? So that's playing over in my head, and I can hear you selecting, Initial D, Mario! Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. Know? Like, I don't know why. I'm, I'm sorry. It just ended up being there. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I'm telling you, like you, you should you should definitely do that as a part of your channel. Like you just have like these wonky crossovers that like people would probably bug out for. Like because that that's how things start. You know, like that's how that's how things get escalated. Like have you have you ever watched One Punch Man? Uh, unfortunately. Oh. <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> I didn't Andrew. like it. <laughs> oh, sorry, because he's amazing. All right. Anyway, the reason why I bring up One Punch Man is that it was it was literally a fan made comic that want that the the creator that ended up adopting it for his own literally saw and he was like can i use this i didn't even know that and it became what it was it's as popular as it is now because it's off of a fan-made creation well, I mean, if you have some extra Amiibos, I do have a couple RC drift cars of oh, the 86. <laughs> you know, we'll just stop and put Mario's head yeah. in there. Yeah, the, the Amiibos, <laughs> you would probably just, like, stick out on the side or something. Because like, they, they, don't, they don't move. They just, they just stay in place. But, yeah, Mario is something you should definitely consider. Because I, I know that people would be like, wow, this crossover would be crazy. Wow, <laughs> they should put the A86 in Mario Kart. Wow. And then the next thing, the next thing, next thing you know, Nintendo's knocking on your door, hitting you up email. Like, yeah, uh, we'd like, like to. It's me, Nintendo. Yeah. <laughs> and who knows? Like, even if, even if they didn't, like, they, people, because fans are loyal. They would know where the inspiration would come from. Even if they just one day decided to, like, throw in the A86. They'd be like, nah, dude, this guy, Initial Dream 86, he's the one that started this started whole idea. It all. Yeah, so you'd, you'd be, like, the un. Written legend, <laughs> the unwritten legend. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that'd be crazy because I, I I know that if I saw that in Mario Kart, that'd be godlike. I'm sure every single person that uh, is aware of what that car is would be like, uh, yo, imagine that, that 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 would probably even boost their sales. Not to say that Mario Kart didn't sell already, but you know, right, <laughs> you know, because it's it's Mario Kart. You know, it's a Nintendo game, so obviously it's gonna do well. But yeah. See, the, the problem is, I, I forgot I wanted to mention this earlier. Mm. The problem with anime people today is that a lot of people haven't actually seen the show. Well, yeah. yeah. Um, like younger, even, even older people, they were like, oh, what's Initial D? What's Initial D? And I'll show them like the opening. And I'm like, you got to check this out. Oh, it's car racing. Like, But it's more than that. You know, it's, it's good. I check know. it out. Watch yeah. it. So See, that's the problem I'm having at the shows, too, is people are like, oh, cool. There's a car here. What's uh, this from? <laughs> so do you, so do you think because of that they should reboot it or like remake it? Well, they kind of are. MF Ghost is the next installation of Initial D. So you think after? So that's like a prequel then? No, kinda. it's a MF Ghost comes after. What? Yes. <laughs> are you sleeping, Uchi? Listen, sometimes I need need to hear things twice. I that... can't explain more than that. No, 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 no just, that's fine. You, you, you need to watch the final episode because it's what happens after the credits that starts MF. So Ghost. wait, when does MF Ghost premiere? That I don't know. It's a manga right now on issue three. I just bought issue. So one, when two, did the three. manga start? Uh, wow, recently. Uh, if you give me two seconds. You wait. I'll you say it. you bought it? Yeah. Wait, physically? Yeah. Like, is it... 
<laughs> Where are my friends? <laughs> Ray's had a 24-hour shift Dude. cutting down trees, <laughs> look, and you're look, not even paying attention look, look, to what he's look, saying. No, 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 look, look. I heard, I heard all that, but I'm more upset now at the fact that I have all these friends that love Initial D, and they didn't peep about that once. Well, I think I have a description here right here. Go ahead, read it. It says, MF Ghost, the series takes place in 2020 when self-driving cars are... In Japan, the series features a genius driver who was back to Japan after graduating the top of his or her class at a racing school in England. Hmm. And there it is. It looks like it debuted in Young Magazine, issue 40 in 2017. What? Yes. So wait a minute, who does... Wait, you said Young Magazine? Yes, September 2017. Young Magazine. It's on September 4th. Okay. The day of our Lord. The day of our our Trueno Lord. It's Suuchi Shingo's. I probably butchered that. Let me see. <laughs> right there. Suuchi Shingo. MF Ghost Manga. Oh, yeah. Suuchi Shingo. Shuuchi Shingo. Oh. He must be related to you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nah. That, nah. That's, that's, that's literally... That's, that, I love when anime gets, gets like sequels. That's so sick. So you know what? Mm, I guess no. You can't like start them with that. Well, then again, if they do adapt into an anime, which hopefully they do, because not every manga is like guaranteed an anime, which is unfortunate. But like, if it's doing well in sales, then that's the important part. Right now, it is extremely difficult to find issue one, and people that have it, it's it's worth a little more than what you paid for it. So if you have issue one of MF, MF Ghost, it's almost impossible to find it for like under a certain amount of money. Please on hold. Yeah, I, go ahead. I mean, no, no, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if it's on Amazon first of all. That's what I'm checking. If it's on Amazon, I actually need to get another one because, from what I understand, there was actually two variants. There's to the one cover. for fifteen bucks. Fifteen bucks. Where are from you finding eBay, this? No, Kyoto that's, Factory. That's definitely not it. Is it? Is it a uh, MF an auction? Ghost one. Is, or it is it one a word? Now? No, MF and then Space Ghost. Yeah, MF, not Space Ghost. There's Space Ghost, no. Ghost, Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> not many people remember that show. I do. <laughs> I'm getting all this random stuff. Yeah, it's probably not on Amazon. God, running in the 90s is just blasting through my oh. head right now. Running in the 90s. <laughs> it's this right there. Man. Yep, I found it. Uh, one, two, and three. They brought. Okay, so now it's down. It's back to $15. When it's on eBay, though. Yeah. That's surprising. It's not on Amazon. When I went to buy issue one after it came out, like you couldn't find it. And I was like, man, I'm never going to get this. Now that we brought this up, I can find it again. And, it, and you bought it in English. No, 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 it's only oh, in Japanese. Oh, so you're collect... <laughs> <laughs> I respect it. I would be doing the same thing. I swear to God, I would literally be doing the same thing. That's sick. All right, no, because I, I, I'm going to be talking and doing this at the same time, because if I don't, I'll forget later. Just like I, you know, didn't watch Runner Warriors. I, said I had to put something on. Would you want to take a break? We can if you want. I just want to listen to Run Into the 90s. I mean, you do, this so is your we show. We can talk over it. I don't yeah. care. <laughs> <laughs> nah, if you're going to play it, the people need to hear they need it. To so hear take, it. A, take a break. Let's Go play this song. We'll, we'll be break. back. And we're back. Hi. We're playing some sweet, sweet Eurovision. Oh, boy. So good. So good. Yes, it's that music. That I think you know what's crazy. Um, I can say this: I I probably shouldn't listen to that music while I drive. <laughs> no, no, no. I, you absolutely <laughs> should. Absolutely should. <laughs> I, like, as long as there's no police officers Look, around. As a safety hazard, because there's a there's plenty of things I have not done in my life yet. I I don't think I'm gonna listen to that. I tell you I'm what, driving. you should do with that music: play a racing game while listening. Oh, to that dude. Music, okay. And then see that. All of a sudden, you're like. Purr! Yeah. Yeah. See, that sounds a little bit more safe, but like if I did that, nah. I, like, because I would, hey, look, this is what will happen. I'll, let me, I'll just give you a scenario, okay? <laughs> I will be in my car, okay? I'll be chilling, ready, you know? And then as soon as like those, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, I, I, I would just be like, eh, like I would just, I would just start going so much faster. I'd be like, what's going on? Like, like the car will just drive itself. Okay, now picture that. In your car, and then picture being in the passenger seat of my car while listening to that. Oh my god! <laughs> You'll reach Nirvana. <laughs> the cops won't even want to pull you over because they're still wiping tears of joy from their eyes. Like, I don't even. I can't pull them over. It's too pure. 
It's too pure. They bend the rules for that. It's like unless you're in an A86, then we're not gonna pull you over. That's uh, the girl that won the the raffle at PsychoCon for the ride along. Uh-huh. I did exactly that. I just looped a bunch of initial D music to play while we were going. And the very first thing I, I told her, I'm like, I'm not going to drift the car. She was <laughs> like, OK. So as soon as we come to the end of the parking lot, I kicked it up and kicked it, the, the, you know, the rear out. And she was like, oh, my gosh. I'm like, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. She's like, no, that was great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then I blew the rear in the car. Uh, <laughs> it's fixed now, though. We're good. Okay. Yeah, you gotta be careful with that kind of stuff. Now, see, that would be cool. Like, a, a a a good vision that I have for you is like you get to the point where it's like, like the initial D car being featured at all these conventions, right? It's like they they want it to be such a like a, an important part that like they literally just build you a racetrack. <laughs> just, just to like take to to give people like the, the, the true ride that they deserve. That would you know? be awesome. Yeah, because then that way it's like it's a sanctioned thing. Like no one would get hurt or whatever. You know, you like, you know, you could do your your drifting if you want. No, definitely never, not. N- never again. That, oh, guy, yeah, that yeah. car just became a show car queen. <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, then hey, you can imagine. You could just you know take the turn and be like, oh my god, if this was going a little bit faster and blah blah blah. Yeah. <laughs> This would have been not, no, but see, like, yeah, safety first. Yes. How much work had to go into that car? Oh boy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> probably. Uh, I. Does anybody mind if I discuss numbers? So at first, I thought it was only going to cost me roughly around eight grand to do the car. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually got the car for a really, really good deal. Uh, I traded a guy a motorcycle for it. And the motorcycle must have only been worth about fifteen hundred bucks, and at the time the car was worth about five, six grand. Wow! So, um, when all was said and done, I think we're currently, or I'm currently up to. Um, sorry, I keep saying we because I have a lot of people that have helped me work on this car. Yeah, that's really cool though. You you saying we? Trueno Squad. Well, yeah. Yeah. Um. It, it. Well, the thing is, you know, I have a friend of mine. He's an older gentleman, and he's amazing with body work you know, mechanics in general. And I had a, another friend of mine help me with the engine and, and the suspension and everything else. And another friend of mine helped me with the, 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 uh, the, the interior and stuff like that. So there was a bunch of people that actually came out and helped me do the car over the process of two years. But it, we're, I want to say I'm roughly out of pocket somewhere around like $18,000 to restore wow. this car. There was a lot that had to be done. The engine, the trans, now the rear, like, cause the rear is all new parts now. Um, and it, it, you know, the body and paint, the kit, uh, those are actual sprinter taillights on the back of it, splinter, wow. sprinter br- uh, blinkers, mirrors, stuff like that. So I tried to do the car as close to the anime as possible. So if any of you do see it in person, it's going to be the bumpers are the only thing that aren't the same. And the reason is the bumpers are anywhere from 800 to $1,500 for just like one. You wow. know, so if you want the actual sprinter front bumper, you know, to order that out of Japan, you're looking at a ton of money, you know, just to get it here. And then you have to build the brackets to put it on if it doesn't come with the Japanese brackets. Mm. You know, so everybody always asks me that exact question, how much work had to go into this car? And I simply say, if I had to do it all over again, I wouldn't because I would just buy the actual car and have it imported into the United States. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. you could buy one of them for $13,000 imported from Japan. Oh, wow. Granted, it's not going to be in great shape, but... Yeah. It's still thirteen grand for a right-hand drive car, mm-hmm. but that's not the route I went with this one. And um, I just recently, I know a friend of mine did post on that video on the live feed, so I will mention that I finally have fog lights and the cup holder <laughs> in the car. <laughs> right? So that is the actual cup holder from the manga. The only, the only problem is, is I cannot find a white, just a plain white Dixie cup that fits the description from the manga. It's extremely hard to find just that one. We'll so. have to hit up every dollar store and do a vlog about your quest <laughs> for the paper cup. So if anybody's listening or watching this, and you can find me a white paper Dixie cup, or that would be incredible. Or craft a Dixie cup. <laughs> yeah, or craft one. That, that would be cool. And then and, you can practice not breaking the surface tension on the water. Well, okay, that was actually proven. Uh, a bunch of professional drifters out of Japan actually tested that theory. They have a full video yes, on science! it. science! <laughs> <laughs> and it is 100% false. So I, I, oh. I, I am sorry to break everyone's spirit, but they tried it. They put a cup on, in the same spot, and they tried to drift 
<laughs> with the water not spilling. And every single one of them are like, no, it's, it's, it's not going to happen. So they could not get it to twirl. I know why. They're not, they're not good enough. Technique wasn't built in a day. <laughs> so exactly, so for those that might not know, exactly what scenario are you talking about? So like the cup is where when you're trying to drift? Okay, so do you actually want me to tell everyone like what, why the cup is even in the car? Yeah, sure. Yeah, All right. Give us the it's, whole lore. It's important. So you know, it, it actually is a staple. Yes, you're absolutely right. It's a staple of the anime. So Takumi is delivering um, tofu up and down Mount Akina for his father. And he ends up starting, I can't remember if it was like 15, 16 years old, 14. Some of that purists are going to yell at me. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was in middle school. Yeah, he was a, he was a middle school Way age. Way before he was allowed to actually drive legally. <laughs> Yes, oh, so, yes. So he sounds like 12 or 13 then. He's yeah. like, thir- yeah, 13, Barely 14, 15, somewhere around there. And at first it was taking him a couple hours to do the run, and then eventually he got all the way down to like 15, 20 minutes, 45 minutes. But one day he was in a hurry, so he rushed up the mountain to make the delivery and destroyed all the tofu. So when he got home, his father beat the living crap out of him, and the next delivery he had put this cup of water, said, if you spill a drop, I'm going to beat you. <laughs> right? So at first it took him like two hours to get up and down the mountain, and then as time progressively got back down to like you know, 20, 30, 40 uh, minutes to get the delivery and back. What? So the cup you know, is a huge part of it. I mean, even in the later, later on in the series, the cup actually isn't there anymore. Because then he becomes a you know a mountain drifter instead right. of a tofu delivery guy. But then the right. cup just becomes his mind. Yes, yes, it does, <laughs> and he, he hones his skill so well that you know his father doesn't need to put it in there anymore. The show is godlike. <laughs> I'm telling you, just keep, just keep, just keep it's talking. It's easy with cars. <laughs> like saw, just please keep keep going, please. So uh, when I got done with the car. I would show up to anime conventions and car shows, and the people that knew what the car was from, they're like, oh, my gosh, the initial D car. Can we see the inside? I'm like, yeah, sure. So I'd open the door, and where's the cup holder? Oh. I'm like, oh. oh busted. <laughs> Damn. And, and then they'd walk to the front and go, this doesn't have fog lights. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. So I hunted and hunted and hunted and finally found it on eBay, nonetheless. They finally put them back up. And it's the cup holder from the manga that sits in the vent, you know. So I ordered that, and I ended up finding a guy who had bought yellow fog lights. They're like orange 40 years ago. And I was like, yes, that's like era perfect. I'll take them and put them on. So now it has both the fog lights and the cup holder. Just need that Dixie cup. (laughs) I think that a good idea you you might want to look into is I'm pretty sure if you put up online like what it is that would that's missing that would make the car perfect you might be able to get away with like starting like a patreon or something that'd be actually pretty wild people would donate for especially if it's for a cause like if it's like if you want if you want to make this like the most picture perfect anime perfect like canon car in (laughs) in real life then that would be something like you could literally just make a Patreon just for that. And another thing you could do that ties into what we're talking about to help boost up um, your presence at events, uh, if they're a Patreon, uh, and when you go to specific events, they would get access to like a free picture with a car, and yeah. maybe oh, they get like idea. an initial D banner, or, like a lanyard for yeah, being an like uh, initial D patron. Yeah, like that package that, that package that you want to do. Like you could just be like, if you're a don't if if you if you're a this dollar amount patron. A month, and if you go to a con and see me, then you will get this package for free or whatever. That's actually a really good idea. I didn't even think of that. Yeah, because that's I'll, why we're here. That, like, well, here's here's the issue though. Now, the Patreon would be great for like anime people, mm-hmm. like you know. But the problem, I should say, otaku's. All right, we'll be we'll be technical okay, here. Sure, otaku's. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the problem is, is like it's a love hate relationship with my car. I'm part of a bunch of AE86 communities, and some of the purists in the in this group are like, oh, here we go. He ruined another GTS. I didn't ruin anything. I saved it from the junkyard and rebuilt the car. I just yeah. wanted the initial D car. But, you know, I get a lot of hate uh, from certain parts of the car community because I did the initial D build. But yet I get a lot of love from the anime side, the drift world, and, you know, and yeah. the, 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 some of the car clubs as well. But usually it's only online that people are like, oh, man, the I can't believe warriors. you did this. Yes. Oh, yes. Keyboard warriors. That hardcore. probably didn't even put a spit of elbow grease into any kind of mechanical well, car. Well, not necessarily true. There, there's a lot of people on there that have GTS mm-hmm. coupes. You know, and I'm not 
talking anything bad about the coop. I think the coop's incredible. Yeah. But you know, I wanted the hatchback from Initial D, so I built it. It's my car. Now their yeah. cars are well worked as well. It's just this is what I wanted to do with mine. Yeah. So you know, I don't. I'm, it, it doesn't phase me or bother me at all. You know, but it, I'm just saying like there's a lot of hate that I get with it as well. Now I have a question about criticism. Okay. Well, some people would say that you might have been wasting your life uh, by like building this car. Do you have a response to that? I mean, like, how do you deal with that kind of hate? I do. I see now that the circumstances of one's birth are irrelevant. It is what you do with the gift of life that determines who you are. God life! <laughs> <laughs> Name that anime. Name it. Get it. <laughs> Mew. <laughs> no, no helping. Oh. Those were your two. Those were your two clues. I was trying not to cry the entire time. Like, oh. I wanted to make sure to give you enough time to like open your phone. Up. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guys name that? We'll give you some time. Answer name that end. anime. No, someone has to know what that is. I'll give you a hint. It has nothing to do with initial D. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it might. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. Well, as far as, as far as hate goes, I think, like, I mean, that, that, that comes with just about every community. Yeah, it, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I personally don't care about it. Yeah. You know, anytime somebody tries to talk garbage or anything like that i'm like all right man you know I, I apply the same thing to my life as well like all right you got your own opinion you know good yeah. for you you don't like it that's fine move on yeah <laughs> you know that, that's that's why i think that uh like if you were to start this patreon for like for the car basically yeah. to like to build it in the way that it should be like anything that's missing that might be too expensive like the even the bumper even like anything right. from the interior like the seating whatever i feel like if you listed it all and you had the goals and blah 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 then I feel like people would over time it would it would it would build up build up build up to the point where it's like bam you have like and then you have like some grand goal where it's like it, if this gets built from the money that gets put into it via the Patreon you give some like crazy like initiative or something like incentive I should I should say to those that like helped out or just for the fans in general like you do something crazy like I don't know like put out like some, drifting like, for a cause. Drifting for a cause. Like a Pocono Raceway, we'll call it running in the 90s. Ironically enough, that's what I'm doing this weekend. There's a huge drift show. <laughs> so if anybody's in this area, Stacked Motorsports is doing a three-day event tomorrow. Just saying. My car Where will be it? there. Well, it's at po it. Pocono Raceway. Um, I'll get you the info right now. Hurry up. Let's go. Uh, it is. It's called the Stack 2018 Car Show. Uh, team Tandem Competition, HPDE, and more. It is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at Pocono Raceway. Nice. So my car will be there in the car show. So if anybody listening wants to go, you'll you'll see my car there. Hey. And some really cool drifting too. So if you're into that, that's Hell like yeah. a, that's like a huge plus too. But you're not. You're you're not just to get everyone making. No, clear, I, you're not, I'm not. Right? I'm not drifting. <laughs> yeah. I'm pulling out the back end again. Yeah, yeah. It's a it's a car show or. It's a show car, right? Yeah. Yes. This is now officially a show car because, again, I did drift. I said I didn't want to. And I didn't even, like, push it that hard either. It's just mm. the bearings in the rear went, like, all of them. Well, see, hold on <laughs> now. See, here's a, here's a, here's a, here's a long-term, yeah, like, goal. idea. Like, you said you could just import one, right? Yeah. That would be the ultra goal. Just get another one. Like, I already was planning one. on it. <laughs> 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 he was like, oh my God, he's All right, on. I guess the secret's out now. <laughs> All right, so we need to get him a setup so when he goes to cons, he can start selling those packages. He's he going to get you set up one, with yeah. Patreon. See if we can find you some people to sponsor your car like you're a freaking NASCAR or something. I have been trying, actually, to get sponsored. Uh, SenpaiSquad.net, mm -hmm. trying to get them to pick me up on a sponsorship. I ordered like a, a, a new decal that they had. It was pretty pretty neat. It says, uh, sorry I'm late. I drive an 86. <laughs> <laughs> and I tried to get Hard Tuned to sponsor me as well. They do a lot of 86 clothes. Yeah. And they, they, uh, they have a the initial D backpack shoes, stuff like that. And I was trying to get them to sponsor me as well, but they, they told me they didn't have any sponsorships open. Mm. Yeah. Are there any, like, like, uh, like what you did with the initial, with the car? Is there any other people that have done that? There, there is quite a few. Mm -hmm. um, a bunch of friends of mine on Instagram uh, live in Japan, and they have real Trenos. 
with the initial D. Like, it's real big in Japan to have, like, an 86 and do an initial D replica car. So if you go to my Instagram and look, you'll find a bunch of them on there. Yeah. You know, I have friends in England, Japan, Australia that have 86s done just like mine. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. It's, it's just here in the States, it's hard to find someone that even still has one. I mean, I have, a, I have a group of friends that have them, you know, but it's very difficult to find these cars in general, let yeah. alone the initial D styling. Yeah. So, yeah. That's awesome. Maybe you should get a sponsorship from one of the Japanese groups. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> if you so like if you put it out there, like you're you're trying to make this car like anime perfect you, or manga perfect, whatever you decide to call it, like people will see that you have like an uh, like a clear intention of making it perfect, right? And people will donate. Like, it's, like even if like that's why even if you had like uh like say you had like streams, like you get streamed from Instagram where you're yeah. just showing off the car or whatever, just talking to the people, like that changing are in the, the chat. oil. <laughs> yeah dude like people people would people would like dig that and like like to really see like oh like dude, this he, he's a real person you know like yeah. he's just, he's trying to like really make this thing like as accurate as possible like it's possible i think it would be i need a bunch of anime people to follow though so that's why i've been doing more of the convention outlets well, yeah, Hell of course, yeah. you know because the car show people they're like all right cool you know and that's what my instagram essentially is is just all the car yeah. <laughs> you know what i mean so to like the car guy they're like okay he's doing stuff with his a86 you know it's cool but to get like the anime people on board with that too that'd be cool as well because then yeah. you know like i i have a bunch of people on there that i said meet me somewhere and i'll show you the car i'll give you a ride in the car <laughs> and i have one of my followers who's thrilled to just get a ride in it and he recorded the whole thing and you know, I, I I don't mind doing that for, like, yeah. the anime guy or girl that is like, yo, I love this show. Can I see the car? Yeah, sure, man. Meet me over here if you're in the area, and I'll be more than happy to bring it out and show it to you. Yeah. So, like, to get more anime people on board would be great because that's kind of what I would need. You yeah. know, other car guys aren't going to donate to another yeah. car guy to be like, yeah. oh, well, he needs a new clutch for his car just to make it to an anime convention. Uh. Like, go back to work, bro. I'm like, oh, I kind of do, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think with 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 time, persistence, and just like the more you put yourself out there, because like like let's say you go, I mean you're going to a show already this weekend, like yes. the drag thing, right? So like if you started telling people like this is this is this is your goals, like you're trying to make like it looks as good as it does now, but it's not perfect. I want it to be perfect. Mm -hmm. And if you're like even if you had that in like flyer form, or if you're, if you literally just told every single person that like that you let take pictures and talk right. to you about it. You let them know that information. They will go away knowing that, you know, like this dude's really cool. He was really nice. I had to talk to him about the car. He, took, he, took, he let me take, take pictures and all that kind of stuff. Like they, you have a better chance at getting donations that way too. Because right. when you have those live in-person interactions and like, there's like an emotional, sentimental value at that point because so it's you like you have to save the '86. Yeah, <laughs> it's like it's like, dude, like this guy is legit. He wants to make his car even more legit. So, hashtag save the '86. Yeah, you should still, oh, start that. Start that. Start that. <laughs> we need to get an artist to do like a little chibi version of the '86 that's crying. Just put save the '86 on the top. Oh, I'm having a brain fart. Uh, <laughs> the, the the girl from season one that Takumi's in love with. Oh, yeah. Um, I oh, remember. I can't remember her name. I'll Just have her that. crying on it. <laughs> yeah. Now, that would be really that would be really dope if you had someone like, if you commissioned Yo, someone to, to make that. Yo, what is up with that girl's father from first stage being as creepy as he is in the dub? Is that the same in the sub? Are you talking about with the Mercedes? Yeah, the, the, it sounds like it was your dad. It's like, it, wow, that skirt's very short. You look really cute. And I'm like, are you her father? It is definitely <laughs> not doing? her father. And I feel like if I tell you what okay. he is, it's going to ruin it. Okay. I'll wait. <laughs> it's not good, though. So just, yeah. <laughs> ah. Ah. Yeah, it, it's, it's kind of, you know. <laughs> uh. I'm currently looking to see if there's any Blu-ray versions of this whole series. Yes, yes, there are. Um, and what's actually pretty cool is uh, the Initial D Legends, part one, two, and three. Uh, I don't know what, uh, maybe they all, all three of them came out in the United States so far? I don't. Uh, it's like a recap of the seasons, essentially. So all the, mo the they're, movie they're movies, versions. Yep. 
Oh, I mean, that's cool. But like, I like to, I like to have a, a marathon where it's like every episode, it's like you got to go through the opening, <laughs> you know, like you get to hear it again and get all hyped. Natsuki like. emoji. That's it. Natsuki. All right. So for those of you who've seen the show, you'll understand the humor of why I would use her crying. For those of you who haven't, I guess you'll just have to watch it. <laughs> I'll have to watch more. The, uh, um, the seasons themselves, for those of you who are just going to start watching that, Keep in mind, the CGI is very, very old. <laughs> it's adorable. It's adorably dated. Yes. It's adorably dated. So That's seasons one, two, and, th- and, and the movie for three, and some of the movies that are in between three and four, the CGI is going to be not that good, but back be then it was great. <laughs> I mean, that's what, yeah. I mean, like, you have to, I don't know. I feel like if you're, if you're going to go watch an anime, like, from, like, you know, the 80s to the 90s, there should always be like a warning label being like, <laughs> give it a chance and realize that it wasn't made yesterday. Put some respect <laughs> on that name. Exactly. Because people forget that. Like my brother is one of one of the the, the prime people that are like that. Like if it's old, nope, not going to watch it. It's corny. <laughs> but like, some of the old child. animes are great, though. Exactly yes. my like, point. How many people have seen Fist of the North Star oh or my Akira? God. <laughs> <laughs> I freaking love Kenshiro. That's my guy. Throw a building at him and he killed, just kept walking. Oh my God. Shindeiru. Wadi, wadi, wadi. <laughs> Dude, I'm a dead. huge Fist of the North Star fan. Uh, uh, what about Akira? Of course. Oh Akira! Where, where were you? Where were you like three weeks ago? Oh my god, we, we were, were talking about classics. Out. Oh really? Yeah. Yes. Oh man, I missed it. Oh. <laughs> You're sleeping on us. Don't do that. Yeah. No. See now. Now that you know. Now that oh. you know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Well, have you seen uh this is off topic just slightly, but did you see Ready Player One? No, I heard it was good though. Uh Tetsuo's bike is in it. Huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's pretty good. Gucci you need to watch died. it. So wait, 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 was that CGI though? Or was it did Yes, it? Oh, along okay. with the back Everything to the future car CGI and Bigfoot and everything. Because I was gonna cause cause that was something that uh we, we were talking about recently. I actually I don't know if you were talking to me about it, but I was like around and I heard that apparently that bike like if you were to try to remake that yes that was me yes, yeah yes, if you were yes. to try to remake that like they've done it you know it just it's all custom work yeah, yeah. exactly like you have to custom but see that would be oh that's man. another achievement why don't you like, just that should be your overall like if this car gets perfect like the company. next thing is the akira bike i would love to do that but i kind of feel like i'd want to build yang's motorcycle okay, ruby whatever. do it i mean like oh. you know, the, name, the name of your company would be like uh mechanical cosplay or automotive cosplay or initial Ooh. cosplay play hey but oh. it have to be all initial d related i will because that's like that's like automotive the root cosplay it's the root you know like, yeah but automotive cosplay it just like covers all the bases so it can be any vehicle from any anime i guess but like i i, oh. I feel like even if you had like if you called it initial cosplay right that that, that is no, that's like that is like, is like ooh. people are gonna be like oh initial <laughs> d cosplay you know what i'm saying like because they even if he, even if he does like any other vehicle from an anime after <laughs> after this one they're gonna look at his at his name and be like yo like that he knows where his roots come from you know what I'm saying come on you can't, you can't, you can't go wrong with that well technically I have two initial D cars do tell uh, I also have a Lexus is 300 which in the anime was a uh, Toyota Altez and it was white. So just just saying, there's 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 two initial D cars in there. <laughs> Dude, literally, you're just feeding your Patreon. It's not even it's not even like happened yet. You just need to do. And you this. can even do like your own anime car shows, where it's just like it's almost like its own kind of mini convention, or conventions can have it attached. So it's just like you have a lot of people that do the same thing you do, do custom anime cars. That you are absolutely right, and that would be awesome. For Otakon, I did have a group going with me for people that owned cars from the Initial D series. So they had the, they had the RX sevens, they had a Sylvia, an S thirteen Sylvia, and they're like, 
uh, I, I posted to the Oticon discussion group, and they're like, uh, I says, anybody going down to Oticon with cars? I have the initial D car. And then I, I ended up in this group, and they're like, hey, man, we're just missing you. <laughs> I'm just Whoa. like, all right. But damn. everybody's car broke a week before oh, Oticon, God, so damn. nobody showed up with their cars. That sucks. <laughs> that really sucks. You showed up alone at prom. See, that would, yeah. be, that would be one sick uh, like group shot. If you guys had, and that. then the next step after that is get people with like drift ready initial D cars, and they all compete for like a golden paper cup. Yeah, but you can't race in them. <laughs> she said a golden paper yeah, a cup. Golden paper cup. I heard that. <laughs> That's incredible. Does anybody want to see this? Like for those of you listening, if you guys want to see this, you know, help us make this happen. Seriously. I got friends that drift. I'm sure they would have no problem. Yeah. <laughs> and second place would be like a year supply of tofu. <laughs> uh, wow. That's a lot of tofu. Right? <laughs> that's a lot of tofu. Like, that's not even a week's worth. That's like, damn. That's like... why you got to sell tickets. <laughs> that's why we're putting the fake tofu box in the back of my car. It's the only thing I'm missing for those of you who are listening. Uh, <laughs> we are actually going to build a tofu box out of like arts and crafts material, like blocks of styrofoam with Bondo. You should and... definitely be vlogging like your building of the tofu box. Just like give yourself more like a varied content for people to be like, oh, damn, this is happening. For those of you who actually do know me in real life, uh, they've seen it. Uh, there's 397 pictures from start to finish of <laughs> oh the build God. of this car. <laughs> you should do like Seriously? a fast motion like, like video. Time lapse? They got time lapse of it. And I have no problem to, like doing a blog for uh the tofu box build so yeah if you guys want to see that too was that was the is the tofu box like something extra like was that in the original car ever once or at, at all in season one and two and oh man I'm picking my brain here i don't remember what season he stopped i don't even think he ever did stop delivering to no he was using the subaru for a while uh spoiler <laughs> <laughs> um he he did have it. We'll just say season one. All right. So season one, he had the tofu box in the back of the car, and it would come out. Like, if you watch a live-action movie, you'll see it. Boonta actually makes the tofu, cuts it in his hand, puts it in the back of the car, and then he goes up the mountain and delivers it. So that's just something. I know that I have the fifth, the fourth, uh, fourth, fifth, and final stage car is what I did with the Black Hood. But I would love to just have the box in the car, just that when you pop the trunk, everybody's like, "Is that tofu box?" Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> gotta make deliveries. Uh, see that? It's little things like that that'll, that'll yep. sell people. You yeah, know? it's a like, very Dude. small detail. It's like, oh my god, it's actually real. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you have to you have to make sure that that like everything was like picture perfect. Like that'd be awesome. To, uh, just the bumpers are the only thing that I'm really, truly missing to make it picture perfect. But in a way, though, I kind of like the fact that it's my own car at the same time. You know, it's yeah. not just a pure copy from the anime. Yeah. You know, it's got a little bit of my own flair in there as yeah. well. So instead of it having the tan interior, it's got blue interior, mm -hmm. you know, which I'm okay with that. The seats are still comfy, even though they're 32 years old. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, let's see. Yeah, that's... That is crazy, though. I mean, it it, it it's it's good that you'd want uh you want it to be like it's your version, I guess, of the car. Like it, it looks on the outside it looks basically the same. So <laughs> I guess you have that down. I just I just worry because what's it called? Like people already gave you flack for the the um what was it? The fog lights. The fog the lights. Cup? Yeah. Like I mean, but I guess the bumper that was it's not as noticeable. I guess right. It is. I have a, a kit on the car, you know, and for those of you who are building your own cars, don't buy anything fiberglass. You will regret it, regret it, <laughs> regret it. <laughs> um, but um, the bumpers just have more flair to it. You know, it looks it looks more like the track cars you would see in Japan drifting. It's mm -hmm. the same kit that the Flying 86 uses in form, well, used in when he was drifting in Formula D. So for those of you who want to see that, go look up the Flying 86. It's a purple car. It's pretty cool. Guy's crazy. <laughs> now, some like in uh, especially the first season of Initial D, some like they would have like actual FM, like full motion video of actual drifters. Are those is that like Flying eighty six? Is that one of the people they had in the show? I uh, live action in, uh, in the yeah, first like one? um yeah when they were at the when Takumi was at the gas station, uh, they were watching some drifting videos, and it was like live action video. 
impose on a tiny. Yeah, like I don't TV think screen. I saw that. She's like, yeah, she's like trying to say like when they were watching like whatever was on TV or something, yeah. right? It was like an actual clip of like real life drifting. It could have been Keiichi Tatsuya. Mm-hmm. I oh, I know I butchered his last name. He's he's the like technically the anime is. I, I don't know how to explain this. It's it was based on him, but it wasn't. Like he yeah, didn't deliver no. tofu, but you know his the story of becoming uh, Mount Akina's like best drifter. Or, yeah, you know in Japan, it, it, it it's sort of about him and another guy. There's uh, Drift Hunter actually did a whole background on it on, in Japan. Mm-hmm. So went there and saw the actual Subaru that the guy used, nice. and he has all the original tofu uh, bags and stuff like that. So parts of Initial D are actually true. Whoa. Believe it or not, yes. And Keiichi uh, Tatsuya is the, uh, the, the the man who started this. Mm-hmm. You know, he took his '86 up and down the mountains and became a incredible drifter. He invented the sport of drifting, and then he went into car racing. And he was like, you know, this is cool, but it's kind of lame. <laughs> so <laughs> then, then they continued, and he ended up like doing full time like drift stuff, yeah. and then that's how the sport was born. So it's it's pretty wild to check out the history on it. Actually, that is pretty. What's it called again? Uh, Drift Drift Hunter is the Drift one that Hunter. does it. He's, he's a guy on YouTube that lives in Japan that did the background of Initial D. So wait, it's not it's not like a movie. It's like no, a series it's a, of yeah, videos. It's, it's a YouTube channel guy. Nice, more stuff to binge. <laughs> oh my god, that's you so, so cool. much stuff to catch up on, Yuchi. <laughs> I mean, it is what it, I I gotta write it down. Hold on, Drift Hunter. <laughs> Drift. I believe that's what it, what is. Let me get his exact name for you, and I'll find it. Um, he did a, a bunch of stuff like old school night, like did a review on like old school nineties mountain drifting in Japan and how it was. It's pretty wild. I can imagine the first time anyone ever drifted, they probably crapped their pants a little. I, I would like, I'm so. wondering what happened as an accident. Like, whoa, oh, 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 I'm sliding. I almost died. Oh, that was actually pretty cool. I didn't lose any speed. <laughs> I found him. <laughs> yeah. Dr- Drift Hunter Albo. He's, he's got a, a pretty cool videos on there. Uh, the first time drifting, um, mm. well, I don't know if you'd really call it drifting. I did it in a front-wheel drive car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I can see where this story is going. Yeah, I spun out backwards and hit a pole. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you know what's crazy? It wasn't that bad, though. And the topic of drifting, even uh, this is terrible to talk on live radio right now, but you know what? Like I said, we don't condone it. Anyway, <laughs> we just made it right. Um, I used to have a, a, a Grand Cherokee jeep right yeah and i would and it had four wheel drive of course right it was a, it was a big car for the most part yeah right not something you would want to drift in no right because they can flip right <laughs> right thankfully this is not how the story is going i've never flipped thank god right i have but oh god in, if you can read this flip me over <laughs> <laughs> it's a jeep thing it, you wouldn't in, understand in uh in uh in the winter times I would always look forward to when it snowed because, and ever since, listen, 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 ever since I was 17, when like I got my license, right? Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, it's snowing? Bet, right? (laughs) I would be so excited because I'd be like, oh, the roads are slippery. I just put my, put my, put my car in four wheel drive. I'm good. (laughs) Right? Every now, 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 now hear me out. Four wheel drive does not equal God mode. When I say I, (laughs) when I, when I say I drifted, right? Don't, don't even picture initial D. Just, just, (laughs) just just picture a dude that's at a stop sign, right? That's waiting for for me to go, like for waiting to go straight, and then to to make a turn, right? (laughs) That's all I did. I would, I would literally just, I'd be like, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. There's no cars around. Bet. I'd be, I'd floor and be like, <laughs> like I, I would go around a turn. Like, so I used to look like such a badass when I would go into work. Right. <laughs> like I remember, I remember it was last year I was driving into work and the, of course our store was open. Yeah. I was like, no one's going to come in, but whatever you want to kill us all fine. Right. <laughs> so with gum. my supervisor was like, like Ryan, you need to come. We don't have anyone here. They're they're making us open the store, blah blah blah. And I was like, okay. My mom was home. My grandparents are home. No one's working, right? And I'm just like, everyone with a paying job was told to stay home. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. At that point, and 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 they're like, where, where are you going? I'm like, to work. And they're like, no, you're not. I'm like, I am though. Like, you see my work shirt? And then they're like, but it's snowing. 
like bad. And I'm like, they don't care if I die. They really don't care. So <laughs> I was like, like, I tell you what, I'm gonna haunt them if I die on my way to work. Yeah, 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 pretty much. So, so, and I, you know, I drove safely on the way there. And then I I texted my supervisor. I'd be like, look out the window, right? Because out the <laughs> window you could see like the parking lot, right? Yeah. And of course, there's no one there. I, it's literally just me in like a winter wonderland. There's like <laughs> snow is piling up and everything. It was coming down pretty quick. And she, I, I like from a distance, she was looking. I could I could see, right? Yeah. And like as soon as I come in the turn, it turned into the main parking lot of the store. I was just like going like this and like this, and, <laughs> and my, car, my car literally went like this like a few times, and then I like drifted right into my parking spot. What? I was like, I am pretty sure that running in the '90s was playing. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like the beginning parts, like I, if, you, if, if you were if you were close to me doing that, you could just hear me going whoa <laughs> the whole entire time. That's my version of drifting. I did what you call safe drifting. There was literally no one around. It wasn't in like, you know, on actual roads or anything like that. It was literally in a parking lot. Parking lot drifting, people. Yeah. I mean, don't do it. It's fun. Yeah. So we here at Wild FM do not con- uh, do not uh, endorse the uh yeah, no. Like the crap the I, people I, on air say. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to look at it this way, though. You know, not all like the people who really do drift and, and like real, real drifting with, you know, the rear wheel drive two forties, um, and with Skyline motors, <laughs> you know, stuff yeah. like that. Like they didn't start as great drifters. You know, they had to start somewhere. So I'm sure sliding a rear wheel drive or all wheel drive vehicle around in the rain or yeah, the they snow. Yeah, like a $1,500 $1, $1, $1, $1, $1 car piece of crap. Yeah. <laughs> that you don't care about. Abandoned parking <laughs> lot out back. With <laughs> you, you know, you smash into a pole, bust the door up, and, you know, and that's the end of it. You know, what that happened guy, to you? I oh, can bond to it. I, I got a video of me drifting, man. It was pretty wild. You know, <laughs> you're like, all right, you know. It's like you bent your <laughs> car in half. I can buff it out. See, now that's why I don't slide the 86. I'm afraid of doing that. <laughs> Think about that. Oh, man. Like that. Yeah, and then it's like all ruined. That's why I need to get a drift car. That is going to be another 86. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was thinking about going with a coupe instead of another hatchback. And it I built have it like a, a freaking tank. Oh, I, I would love it. I mean, well, technically, if you were to take those bumpers off my car right now, because everybody's like, oh, well, what are the rubber bands for in the front? Oh, the quick release bumpers. Why do you have that on there? Well, we were going to build it for drift, so there are cages underneath the bumpers. Like, there's metal cages in there. So nice. I could slide it across the wall, you know, and, instead of messing up the paint. But, uh, yeah, no, we're not doing that anymore. So now, <laughs> they're, now they're just show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, gotcha. <sighs> Man, initial D. What was it like the, when the car was first complete? <sighs> <laughs> when it was first complete, there was so much stress, anger <laughs> towards like everything and everyone that the day I drove it, everything, the weight, the huge weight was just lifted. And on the first day I had it out, uh, so I, I ended up going to the gas station. Somebody's like, oh my gosh, is that the initial D86? And I'm just like, yeah, bro, it is, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so like now people come up to the car and they're like, hey, man, is that an A86? I'm like, yeah, yeah, you know, we, 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 me and my buddies rebuilt it, this, that, and the third. But back then on that first like week when people would walk up to me, it was like all hype. It you know, like yeah, Christmas. man, you want to see it? Check it out. I'll pop the hood. Now yeah. I'm like, nah, you know, I got to go I'll check it out online. You know? <laughs> uh, yeah, make, make them follow the Instagram. <laughs> like, go follow me on Instagram and check me out at the next convention, Matt. You should have like business cards if you don't already. Well, I, I don't, but the funny part about what you just said is I get people to ask me all the time, hey man, you have an Instagram? I'm like, yeah, it's on the left side rear wing window, it's on the right side rear wing window, it's on the rear window, and it's on the windshield. Oh, I didn't see it. Hmm. You were too busy <laughs> looking at the whole thing. They yeah, go, man, they're not looking at the window. <laughs> they're, looking at your freaking, if they're looking at the decals. They're not appreciating the art that's yeah. the entirety of the car. Well, I did bring it to Mitsua Marketplace uh, in Edgewater. For those of you that don't know what that is, it's a market in New Jersey that everything is imported from Japan. I mean, like everything. The toy How store. many shopkeepers ran out screaming into the streets to see you? <laughs> well, usually when I bring it there, uh, nobody comes outside. They usually ask, they're like, hey, you're the guy with the 86. They remember who I am, you know, which, which I was absolutely blown away by. But I'll usually park it in the back so that people pulling in have to see it. So uh, this Sunday, we were waiting for a buddy of ours to show up. And what pulls in? Not one, but two R32 Nissan Skylines. 
Oh, damn. Right? So the GTR, so, uh, um, you know, the Night Kids GTR. Oh, it wasn't damn. black, though. You know, it was uh. gray. But it was still pretty wild. I parked it out in the side, and we had a whole line of cars. Oh, my <laughs> God. You, know? you had your own mini car show. Yeah, we had a miniature car show, which was pretty, pretty wild. You know, you it was pretty cool. You should see if um, that Mart wants to do, like, a car show every once in a while with the initial D-Boys show up. They do, uh, people do meet there mm-hmm. uh, on 86 Day. That's August 6th, for those of you who don't know, because 8 6. Nice. Uh, so, Godlike. when I was there for 86 Day, they had a, a bunch of newer GT86s, FRSs, BRZs, which, for those of you who don't know, is the new version of the A86. Mm-hmm. Um, and then it was me and two other cars. So, there, there's not really many of these left so every time i go to a show there's only like one other person that has one mm-hmm. so it'd be hard to do just a show on the ae86 or not yeah. say can we have an ae86 meet now they're real big in certain areas of the country but here i've only met like a handful of people so it'd be hard to get the word yeah out. you'd have to like uh maybe like in the honor of 86 day but they like kind of branch it out to any of the cars featured in initial d just or celebrating the history of drifting that Oh, those some of those scenes. Now that's where I get the hate from. People who are like yeah. real serious in the drifting are like, oh, oh you're an initial D junkie. Like it has nothing to do with anime. And I'm like, well, it kind of does. <laughs> you so know, I guess but... what, motherfucker? Where do you think these other idiots that are drifting now came from? Mm. Well, <laughs> actually, Inspiration, yeah. in, in my opinion, I think it was kind of like an outlet for people here in the United States when that finally came out here mm-hmm. to check out drifting if they didn't know about it already. Yeah. Right. You know, I mean, you're going to watch an anime about cars, which you probably already love to begin with. Mm-hmm. And now it's, you know, you find out it's a real thing. Like drifting is real, you know. And that it, literally happened to you. Yes. That, that is exactly <laughs> what happened to me, actually. Yes. But we were watching it before uh, America knew what drifting was. So these were the days of downloading video clips on Sheraza that took like two days, <laughs> you know what I mean, with a dial-up connection. Um, so You're I'm sorry, LimeWire, that's oh it. Yeah. So we would download uh, Japanese drift videos from the Japanese circuit drifting yeah. for, from, uh, oh man, I'm a brain fart, I can't remember what it was called. Um, that's godlike. I'm going to have to keep going, but I don't remember what the name of it was called, but we would watch a bunch of these drift shows, Yeah. and it would be you know, in Japan, and the next thing you know, like America's getting into it, and everybody's like, drifting, drifting, drifting. I'm like, what? Where did this come from? Yeah. You know, and then Initial D came out here in the States many, 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 many years later, and everybody's like, oh, I love Initial D, and I'm like, yo. I was watching that back in like '99, bro. <laughs> you ah, so you you wean out the fakes, you wean out the frauds. You're like, man, I used to watch this when it was live. Yeah, yeah, but you know, I, I feel like it, it did though. It, it gave an outlet for people to check out the drift world. So that's right. what I was talking about before about merging the anime and the drift yeah. car guys. You know, so it's pretty wild. I think that initially was like a huge part of people getting to know this you know what i mean i yeah i mean i i'm i can tell you right now i'm one of those people that literally know nothing about cars <laughs> like absolutely was it the nothing. ibisu circuit the well ibisu circuit is one of the original drift tracks it was there was a video game for playstation 2 that came out let me see if i can find it real quick yeah but like the fact that like like once i get back to initial d like watching it i know that i will I will learn more about cars because I'm sure they name them all the time. You know. Oh yeah. You know, so because like right now, like so, like I could have, like someone could. I used to have. Well, I used to know a lot of people that by where I used to by where I live now. That in high school, like they would all be talking about cars all the time, and I'd be like, "What? Like, I like I don't know what you guys are talking about. Like, you guys could be talking about like anything." Or saying like any kind of car make my I'd be like I know what a Camaro is because <laughs> Transformers. <laughs> yeah, right. That's about it. Like you know that that but yeah Initial D is like gonna be like low key like car education. Yeah, they'd be talking about like make model numbers stuff like that. Yeah. See, like I, I don't, have pet names for. Them. I'm like you just got you you just have to be into that kind of stuff you know to like remember all of it because naturally like that's like that can go with just about anything like if you like it you will remember it just like pokemon how many do they have now pretty much 900 yeah. do i know all of them no because it's like every generation that came out another one came out another one came out like i probably know like the first i know all of them but like if you if you show me a picture and be like oh what's this like for any of the newer ones i'd be like 
Yeah, the technical, yeah, the technical <laughs> stuff definitely comes in with the Takahashi brothers in Initial D because uh, the one brother's like super scientific and goes into like horsepower and what the cars can like literally See, like that's cool. Do. If I watch that, right, I'll be like, bet. That's just exactly notes. what I was going to say next. I'm glad yeah. you brought that up, actually. Do not watch <laughs> it naked. in dub. Oh, because it's wrong? It's wrong. Oh. In All the right. Japanese, yeah. uh, Ryotsuke is talking to Keske. And, you know, you're listening to them talk about the car, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Ke- uh, Keske ends up driving. Mm-hmm. He's going down the mountain, and Ryotsuke is talking to the rest of the team. And he explains that how he moved his foot three millimeters off the accelerator was enough for the wind to drag him back to where now he's not sure if he could catch up to have a more efficient drift through the turns. So the Japanese, it explains that whole process. And then you get the English. And the English is, I can't believe it, man. It looks like he's losing, right? And then he goes, well, that's because he took his, ga- his foot off the gas pedal. And now he lost speed. And then it goes into like the music. And I'm like, what? <laughs> like, it doesn't explain anything. <laughs> And it, it's just, it's bad. So if you're going to watch that, yes, watch the Japanese. Because there's a lot of true things in the anime about, like, cartooning and stuff. I'm not yeah. saying don't, you know, I'm not saying watch the anime and then try to tune your car like they do in the anime. Yeah. Because not, no, not, a lot of it's not real. But yeah. it, it, it's, it's definitely different in the Japanese versus the English. Like, plot-wise. I'm glad yes. he brought that up because I appreciate when it's at its most accurate you know, no matter if it's a dub or a sub at all. Yeah. Like, you know, like I can enjoy a dub as long as, number one, it sounds good mm-hmm. and the the script is fine. Like yeah. there's no like hiccups or like, why did they say this instead of that? Yeah. But if they're like, just whatever happens comes out <laughs> happens, then... Then I'm like, what's that one anime where they totally didn't even give a crap about the original Japanese? I think it was Ghost Stories, where they can kind of just do whatever they want as long as they kept the names the same. (laughs) Like the original (laughs) Japanese, like distributors, like you can make the dub say whatever they want. Just they got to keep the same names, and it has to involve a ghost. It sounds like the reverse effect of what they did with the Attack on Titan live action movie. That was horrible. <laughs> I did not like it. Um, Exhibit A. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, I do understand, though, that when, when they're doing the transition from Japanese to English, they have to match the, the mouth as it's moving. And I understand they have to either condense or elongate certain things. But mm-hmm. For the English version, yeah. Yeah, but how much is, like, enough? You know, you can't just take something that's a full explanation and blatantly break it down like to 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 simplify it like oh he took his foot off the gas pedal he's going slower like really i i, I didn't see that happening I, you know? he's <laughs> going really i had no idea that's what like, happened well, thank you captain obvious i would have been like Damn. i can sleep tonight now <laughs> like if i did a if I did a reaction video to that, I would have been such an ass on purpose. I will I, find I, I, you that episode so you can do it. Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll just Who'd be like, this is not a real reaction. This is exaggerated as hell. And like, I'll just be like, he took his ga- foot off the gas. But I'll be like, no way! <laughs> he went slow? Nah. There's no, I'll be like, rewind that. No, 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 no. Just like that. Well, the, it's not just there that they did it. Like, when he uses the great, this is early on, so I'm not ruining anything. He uses the great to win a race. Uh-huh. So he puts a tire in the great, and it launches the car around the corner. Yeah. Right? So in that, if you watch it in Japanese, there's like this huge, wonderful explanation for it. And in the English, it's just, he used the great. I don't believe it. And you're like, oh, okay, thanks. Now, what uh- <laughs> I'm wondering is, because I know back in the day, a lot of anime, like they had to localize. Well, they felt they had to localize a lot of stuff and dumb things down because they didn't think that American audiences would get into it. Now, if Initial D initially huh, came out like <laughs> nowadays, sorry, that was really late. See what you did there. I apologize. <laughs> nah, it's appropriate. It's yes. canon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering if they would have like kept the length, like the longer explanations in the dub if they were to do it now. That's why I said if they ever did a remade version, a re- because nowadays, now is the time because anything that gets like 
a remake or a reboot or something along the lines where they're taking the original and then like redoing it in some capacity, they are keeping it closer to the source material. So yeah. yes, that would happen. They would so that way everyone's happy. Well, I did watch a bunch of recent anime in dub and English, and it was you're right, it's it's pretty close. Yeah. But um Initial D does have, don't forget, the Legends series. So it's the best way to put your theory to the test. Legends one uh, and Legends two were actually played in the theater. I'm not too sure about Legend Legends three. Wait, what are you talking about? Much. Legends? This, this it, is... It's a movie for Initial D. Yes. How Initial long ago D, did they make it? Recent. Um, it, I'll, I'll find the dates for you right now, but it's fairly recent. Okay. The Legends. It's it's like a retelling of the story all over again, just in a movie format. Is this live action? No. Oh, okay. Okay. That one's in Cantonese. Come hold on, on. you keep up. Hold up. Hold up. I think we I need might to get you more coffee. You know what's funny? I don't like coffee. What? <gasps> what is wrong? With I'm, the, I'm the only one in my family. Actually, you know what? That's a lie. I had a friend. He gave me. I was like, I was like, dude, I don't drink coffee. He's like, no. He's like, he's like, you definitely do. I'm like, I don't. And he's like, okay, try this. He put like Italian creamer in. And I was like, ooh, this is pretty good. Yeah, coffee is amazing if you put the right stuff in it. That's the all. But like, I've never had it since. It Plain, was, bro. Coffee, half and half, done. <laughs> <laughs> she, I'm not that extreme. Her face. She's like, wait a second. <laughs> no. Now I'm, I'm a smoothie guy. I like my smoothies. Well, then we'll have to make sure you get like a nice sugary smoothie. Dude, I'll go to Wawa. You know I go to Wawa <laughs> after this. Yeah. I'll get me a... a Intern Tyus and I went to Wawa and, before we came in here. Peach and orange or something. Mac and cheese and chicken. <laughs> yeah. Living the American dream, baby. Living a million the American calories dream. at a time. What are you eating for dinner there, Uchi? I got me some chicken. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I, I, like, I could, I could, I would go for some chicken right now. I'm not going. Right, to oh cluck you, man. Oh, the mushrooms, bro. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't been to cluck you since I went to ESU. You know what's funny? KFC has better chicken than a lot of the chicken joints around here, like cluck you and Popeyes. You, you, really? you think KFC tastes better than cluck you? I don't even know. Yeah. I haven't had cook you in years, though. That's the thing. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard to screw up chicken. Uh, true. No, that's a true story. <laughs> it's real easy. <laughs> it, it, it's not impossible. I would just say that. I've had some pretty, like, uninspiring chicken before. <laughs> uninspiring? <laughs> like yeah. A little dry? What was that National Lampoon's Christmas cooked. Vacation when they cut the turkey open and it just goes, <laughs> breaks apart? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, real quick. So it's 2014, 2015. And 2016, that Initial D Legend 1, 2, and 3 came out in Japan. Ah. Um, so it's it, it's pretty good. That's what's up. My brothers ended up going to Tokyo, and they uh, ended up buying me the Japanese box set for Legends 1. So nice. So I might have to let you borrow it. <laughs> Dude, that'd be, that'd be very uh that'd Shout be very out to nice. Pat in the chat room. What's up? Con share of Yushikan. Pat, yo. <laughs> Pat's the best. She put on a hell of a show. Despite ESU trying to mess with her. I don't know what it is with like different venues in this area. Because Colossal Con had some drama going down at Kalahari. They had a bunch of people uh, get kicked out of the pool area for being risque. Really? Yeah. I was there, but I was only there for, uh, I think, a day. Like, I'm thinking it's like flappy looking soccer moms upset that they couldn't be as cute looking as the anime waifu girls. <laughs> <laughs> went to the front desk and I'm like she's wearing a bikini with cat ears and I have six kids here and they don't need to see that and, and Junior's like mommy I want cat ears damn I'm, I'm just saying you have anything to say to that stop having KFC I'm all the saying. time <laughs> McDonald's is not your friend or just do a couple friend. squats every once in a while I didn't even God, know what that I happened really at Katsu nasty I, don't know either. I, I I didn't. I, I knew that there were people downstairs doing photo shoots, and you know how anime cosplay has kind of progressed. <laughs> you know, it's, <laughs> it's yeah. progressive nowadays. Yeah, it's 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 definitely a lot open. <laughs> They're very open. I you mean, know? <laughs> they, there's the conservative ones still, and then there's this the... area gets weird conservative sometimes. But I mean, I'm I'm not condoning it, you know, because it's always good to see. <laughs> <laughs> You're a red blooded American. You want some waifus? Yes. <laughs> to, to, go, to go with his car. <laughs> yes. To that go. would be awesome. So if anybody listening or watching is cosplay and you want to do a photo shoot with the car, I'm totally open. 
Totally you had a full set it. of Dragon Maids doing cosplay in the car. That would be awesome. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Well, no, wait. That, well, that was at Yushikon. Were those the Dragon Maids? No, uh, those those are friends of mine, and they were uh, ReZero. Okay. Yeah, I was like, wait a second. They had ReZero. They did not have Kobayashi. Yeah. I'm dumb. Yushikon. I don't know a lot of that. No, anyway. it's all right. I haven't even watched. Look, I've seen Yush, uh, Kobayashi, the Dragon's Maid anime you saw, you're yeah. talking about? They had it streaming on Twitch like a while ago because they had like this like week long anime like Twitch marathon. They were just streaming anime for free. Like people could just watch it, like tune in. And it was like thousands of people at once just watching this show. And it was like it was on a cycle. Like Kobayashi would come on like three times the, during the day on this nice. day on that. And like I would just tune in with my friends and we we're just like talking on Discord and I'd be like, what is going on in this show? And like I'm just I loved it. Yeah. <laughs> Taru <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I, I want I want to give it like a rewatch just to see if like, just to see like what actually happens because like I don't like watching something in the middle of it. Like I want to see it from like the beginning. Like yeah, you know like I like for initial D like I would not go and see like I would not even watch the movies or any of the ones that even do recaps. I would want to see the original first. At least then... see season one first before yeah. you jump into the movies. Definitely. Well, yeah, like what's going on. I would. That's how I am with everything. Like I cannot. I, like even with games, I cannot play anything out of order, especially if and I. And you own can them. definitely tell this is like a, de- like very '90s feel to this anime, especially with the way they drew the lips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't look right. <laughs> oh, I, love it. I love it. I love old anime that looks weird. It's the best. The best part about that is the characters themselves <laughs> look like a 12-year-old drew them, you know? Yeah. But you, then you get to the cars and you're like, whoa, <laughs> like this is <laughs> awesome. I mean, it's gotten better over the years where well, yeah. the final stages is done, but it's still in that whole weird giant lip kind of <laughs> thing, you know? Big boxy clothes, like <laughs> yeah, my 90s, yeah. what were we thinking? <laughs> he has the Reebok pumps on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's, why, that's why I wish that... I just I have hope for it. Like I feel like if if they were to announce tomorrow that they were gonna like do initial D like and call it like initial D like redrive or something like that, like just to like point out that it's like like kinda like how they did Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Oh like, yeah, yeah. You know? If they did something like that with initial D, people would just be all over it. I'm sure. And I'm sure like at this point in time it's two thousand eighteen. Imagine how that would look. I'd, I'd love to see that happen. You yeah, kidding see, me? Like, like, uh, yeah, no. and then we can like start working hard. So when Funimation wants to drop that, and be like, "Yo, our boy Ray has an initial D car, <laughs> and you need to give him the months and the funds to get him to that show." Ironically enough, I actually messaged Funimation before Otakon to put my car in their booth, <laughs> and they're oh, like, nice. "No, we're oh, sorry, damn. we don't have room." Uh, I'm like, "Oh, all right." Yeah, well, that's... just keep hitting them up. <laughs> they sound like they might have an interest if there is room in the booth. Like, especially if they have. An initial D amounts announcement, like maybe for MS Ghost. I was actually oh. shocked they even got back to me to begin with. Because, <laughs> you know, usually people don't get really get back yeah, to someone me. Someone saw that and was like, oh, my Lord in heaven. Oh, I need to respond <laughs> to him. He needs to know that we know he's real. <laughs> it was actually a very polite response, too. I was shocked. There was no, like, oh, we can't have you. you know, tell, <laughs> ever, tell the world the story of that one car club you called, and they got back to you in, like, a day. Uh, which? Oh, I know your story. Like that you're show? About. Yeah. What was that one show? Like you're like, hey, I have this initial D card. Do you have room for me? They, you, you told us on the Saturday. Way, the way you told us the first time was, um, you you like filled out an app or something, and you like you filled out an app, and like normally it takes like a long process, but. They got back to you like. Oh yeah, that that's actually this weekend. That's the Stack Motorsports oh, event. Yeah. Um, I, I actually didn't think I was going to get in because, like like I was saying before, even though I, we know what kind of car that is, I wasn't sure. I said, oh, well, it's a drift event, you know, and I filled out the application, sent pictures, and the guy's like, I love this car. Would you be interested in the <laughs> VIP? Like, yeah, man, that's awesome. I'd be honored to, 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 to do that. So, yeah, you know, that that's all this weekend. That's exactly what that was about. Because uh, I had friends fill out apps, never heard anything back. So. You probably made that guy shoot monster energy drink out of his nose. Like, I, I hope oh so. God! I, I hope so. I hope that they enjoy the car as much as, 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 I, as we do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, even though it's a real drift event, I'm hoping that the initial D and the 86 part of the car is like appreciated amongst everybody. Yeah. You know, that would be really cool. Yeah. I'm sure you'll get some people because, you know, I feel like there's – there, there, there has to be some kind of overlap, even if it's small, like now at least, or whenever, you know, because I feel like at this point in time, 
there should be enough anime fans secretly hiding, if anything, in the car side of things. If, you know what I'm saying? Ironically enough, I've met a bunch of those. Actually. <laughs> exactly. See, see? I, I say, you know what this is from? And they're like, they say it real quiet. Yeah, bro. This, this is like that, that anime initial D, bro. And I'm like, yeah, man, initial D. And they're like, ah. I love, you, you know? <laughs> you love you, I love it when they say like, like they, they, they try to be passive about it. Oh, like that anime. Like, yeah, really, yeah, yeah. You, you, you go back and to their house the and it's like initial D everywhere. Yeah, they have like 12 wall scrolls. Get out of here. Like, I hate when people do that. I'm like, dude, stop trying to be so passive. You love this? All right. Then embrace it. Well, you see, <laughs> you, you, you got to understand, though, a lot of these older people, like myself, when we were growing up in high school, it yeah. wasn't uncommon for us to be beat up. For watching I didn't get beat cartoons. up, but people I would be did. like, why don't you go home and watch Powerpuff Girls? Because I like DBZ, and I'm like, bro. <laughs> That's horrible. Say that again. You're going to go through that effing window, <laughs> and we're on the second floor. Test me. And now, now we're in a world of uh, participation I think I fired awards. back. with like, I'm sorry. I like animation <laughs> I that involves fingers. Space. Yeah. God damn. Well, I, I, I still get pissed about, about that. that. You know, I, I, like for me, I was beat up for playing Pokemon back in the day. I was playing it as it was coming out, you know, yeah. and I, I was beat up many times because of it. So a lot of the older people are still stuck in that where now, like the younger generation, even a couple of years younger, like yourself, you know, it's widely accepted now yeah. to be into this. You know, mm -hmm. oh, if you're an anime nerd, that's awesome, man. But back then it was like, oh, you're an anime nerd. So you go, right why don't you go you know? watch some more cartoons, <laughs> loser? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe I will. I still, maybe have I, some, will. I still have some unresolved issues. <laughs> it's all good. I mean, at least now it's it's not like that anymore, for it's, sure. But now, like, it's really nice for the old schoolers that have finally started to open up a little. Like, they'll go to conventions, they'll see other people, like, I am home. <laughs> oh my god, I am free. Yeah, it's crazy. Like how people tails get. out everything. You know, it's, it's funny. Um, I'll have these conversations with, like, my youngest brother. He's, mm -hmm. like, 12 now. And, like, I'd be like, you know, back in my day, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, can you believe, like, I say that? Yes. Right? Like, I'm only 25. And I'm like, back in my day. Baby. Right? I would be like, I'd be like, you know, back in my day, like, there was no Crunchyroll. There was no Hulu. There was no Netflix. <laughs> YouTube barely worked. Yeah, it was then, like a minute and 25 and then, seconds. And then, and then he'd be like. How did you watch anime? I'm like, like exactly. brother, how did you do the thing? Yeah. I think it was very hard, young Uchi. Yes, exactly. I would be like, we had to watch on TV. Or... We had to wait for commercials. Yeah, we had to wait. Yeah, they, They're spoiled. <laughs> they're spoiled, and it's easier for them nowadays. Commercials, brother? Like a, what is a commercial? I, I, I'm picturing you explaining <laughs> this with that black hood on, sounding like Emperor Palpatine. <laughs> you know? Like, good, do it. Do it now. <laughs> Let the anime flow through you. Dude, yeah. Like, straight up. Because that's, that's it, like, it, it's, it's crazy how nowadays they they have, the like, the luxury. Like, like I can tell my little brother right now, like, go watch Initial D. It's good for you. Yeah, and he can find it on YouTube and or any other like, venue. Okay, yep. he'll just look wherever. And I'll be like, back in, uh, there was no searching for me. It was like, I'd have to get lucky and stumble upon it on TV first. Saturday matinee had all the VHSs. Do you remember that? That, sh that store, yep. right? That store is a godsend. That's how I ended up finding out about Eria, Zerim the Animation. I never heard of that. Ah, uh, it's another good classic. Okay. Yeah, but I it was a live sleep. action movie first, and then they came out with the animation, and like yeah. that was the only place that carried the live action movie and the anime. But we're in VHS era now, you know. So like you're saying, back in your day, listen. When I, I say it, it's <laughs> wait, 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 no, so no, no. bad. I was, I was a part of it, low key. All right, I was maybe really young, but yep. I was a part of it because <laughs> I'll tell you this, my dad. Have you ever heard of the of the store Wizard World? Uh, yeah, Wizard World, New York. No. Well, it, it is in New it, York. It was in New it, York, yeah. Okay. yeah. But you, you know, amazing. Do you know what it is now? No. It's Toy Wiz. Really? Yes. Have you ever heard of Toy Wiz? Toy Wiz, yeah. Toy Wiz used to be Wizard World. Really? I went to Toy... Okay, I used to live like 10 minutes away from that store. It's right by the Palisades Mall. Okay. Kind, kind of. It's in Nanuet. Nanuet, yeah, New York, right? Yeah, I know where that is. My dad, he used to bring me to... It was a comic shop, right? He used to bring me there on like Sundays... <laughs> And he used to get me, like, an issue of Spider-Man and, like, a pack of Pokemon cards, right? My, my dad amazing. is the best to this day, right? And then one day we went in there and, uh, some, like, I guess uh, one of the associates 
he had they had like the the Japanese VHS tapes <laughs> of Dragon Ball Z. And this was before Cell was even on TV. And he was like and he he he's like, Oh yeah, my dad bought it, right? And brought and this is how you know. This was like they had him in like those white cassette tape like packages where it was just the white it was nothing <laughs> oh my God. Yep. you want to talk about vintage i was a part of that too all right i was young i remember when walmart first came out and i was able to get history of trunks on vhs oh man and the tracking was off and it was like i don't know all that, all that like distortion would go through i'm like i didn't care i'm like trunks my love you yeah. are here in english and i don't have to wait for buffering from real player to watch you legally now <laughs> Ha! That's pretty godlike, though. Now, for us, it was. Now I sound really old. Uh, we didn't have the outlets like like that. Like it wasn't really a big thing yet. Yeah, when we were first starting. Yeah. So you literally had to go on. Um, oh boy, let me see if I can remember it. There's no website. There, there, there was a website, and it gave you a list with torrent files, and you, you would had download to it. it. Yes, you had to pirate it. Wait, what? What year? Uh, we're going like ninety seven, ninety eight, ninety nine. Yes, then? yes. And it, it I had a connection wasn't in high school back there or back then because there wasn't like, yeah there the was no wasn't, way like, it was not available. Yet, yet. So you would wait literally. You'd start the download on like Friday, oh and God. you would have an episode on like Sunday. So we just me and a, a buddy of mine actually the Sprites of Passage Chris mm -hmm. Chris yep. shout out he's sponsored mine too. Uh, Always check out Sprites of Passage online. He has some amazing work. And at my events he he sells at my events too. So. Yeah, so go to Uchi's events so you can buy stuff from Chris. I will say, go and check him out once he makes me an initial D sprite. Hint, hint. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, okay. But no, me and him are really, really close friends, and we've known each other for about 20 years now. So back then, we ended up going into this store, and I had found uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion, which is by far one of mm -hmm. the greatest mm -hmm. animes mm -hmm. ever created. Um, and I had found the movie Death and Rebirth, on this shady, suspect-looking VHS oh, tape. Oh, boy. So we, when we got it back to, to his place, we ended up going over his house. We were going to watch it. There was no subtitles. Of course. So <laughs> we, we had to actually print out like 200 pages, two or 300 pages of that this is script dedication. and try to read Can I shake it your hands? as we were watching it. Kids yes. today don't <laughs> understand is, I'm gonna, the I'm struggle. I'm going to tell people that story. I'll be like... Raise the illest, yo. <laughs> that's so cool. Like I love stuff like we that. We need to have a book of just old Taku war stories. <laughs> that Look, would be I, awesome. Fact, I have a good guest for us. Um, I don't know how or when, but like my friend Bobby that I always reference. He yeah, would, he would probably have a bunch of stories to 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 share with you. I'm pretty sure you've met him. Like we should do just before. an old Taku show. We get a couple of old heads. He uh, uh, look. He, uh, he he probably he probably did the same thing you did too. Because I it sounds familiar. Like what he had to do. Like it's like you needed to know somebody or have yeah. some kind of like in. Always yeah. on the hunt. That's but so cool. the coolest part though is like as anime started coming into the United States, we used to get this book called The Right Stuff. Okay, so The Right Stuff was a real thick catalog, and it would show, like, if you ordered the premium package, you had the color book, all right? But if you had the regular package, it was black and white. And you can go into this, and you could view, like, they were uh, titled A to Z. Like, it was all in alphabetical order, and you can go through all these different anime titles, purchase the VHS, and they would order it from Japan and send it to you. Dude, I think I remember that. Dude, wait a minute. Did... Wasn't, like, the back of comics? There's a... There's a... There's a thing called Right Stuff Anime. Yes. Do you know how old that is? That's them? Yes. <laughs> oh, we got a shout out from Chris in chat. I'm working on it. Hello. That is so <laughs> sick. Dude, I've worked with them. I still have some of the originals. I'll have to see if I can dig it up to show you. I have one of the original order books. That is, I've been like, look, how come they can't have history, like anime history? Like you could be a college professor for this. For this <coughs> like, <coughs> Shout out here. Panel time. Any of you con, uh, people watching? Old taku. Yeah. It's an old taku panel. There you go. War stories. All, all three of us, you know, just saying. <laughs> but guys. <laughs> I could just be there for like the, the reactions because I love hearing stories about this. Like I thought, man. I thought I was cool when I I was like 12 and I accidentally found the Japanese version of Naruto. <laughs> I, w I thought, I was like, what is this? This is not on TV. I thought, and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you one more. I thought I was like on some next level stuff when I found out that the manga was way ahead of the anime. And yep. I was like, 
I was like, Sasuke, he's back. Wait, what? what's he doing? What? I was freaking out at that point. In my, and I was like, yo. But then I realized, then I went to my first anime convention. And I was like, everyone knows. Wow. <laughs> it's a whole new world. Like, cue the Disney song, right? No, it, like, straight up. I, I thought. Easy, Aladdin. Yeah. <laughs> oh, guys. New world. It's been two hours. We have to end the show now. I know oh, what. Oh, man. I know. We could keep going for another two hours. <laughs> but I think DJ Pleasure beat me up because he's supposed to have a show right now. Oh, okay. Well, we're out then. Well, I'd just like to say thank you guys for having me on today. Hell yeah. Oh, we yeah. expect you to come back. <laughs> oh, I definitely will. Invite me whenever. I mean, I'm, I'm cool with him being a regular. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> hey, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and YouTube at Uchi Games. Yes. Don't forget to follow me. Uh, you guys can follow me on my Instagram. It's initialdream86. Uh, give me a shout out that you saw this or listen to the radio program when you add. All right, guys, that's it for tonight. Stay tuned next week. We're going to talk some more anime. We're going to figure out what we're talking about later. We'll post it in social media, so pay attention. That's it. We're out. Peace. Night.